all yours uh, good afternoon everyone uh thank uh, the chairpersons for giving me a nice introduction and i would like to thank the organizers for having me over here in amdavad <clears throat> so before i talk i just want to ask the audience how many of you are doing uh, treadmills or how many do you have a treadmill in your clinics okay so it's hardly 5% who have and why others don't have a treadmill you had or you left them or what happened you found it cumbersome it's time consuming and cumbersome i started initially with a treadmill then i stopped it and plus the risk of sudden cardiac death is always there when you take up a patient and you know so i would be talking on revolutionizing heart health a breakthrough test for early detection of myocardial ischemia yes we as indians uh, we lead the world in terms of diabetes in terms of heart diseases so the percentage of cardiac ischemia if we can detect 90% cases with early detection i think we'll offer them early treatment as well so being at the topmost in the world in having heart diseases it becomes imperative that we diagnose ischemia so what if i present to you a stress test without stress neither to the patient nor to the doctor so this is the test you wear in apple type of a belt put it on for 20 minutes and you get a result in one minute uh it's a peer reviewed technology published in both american journal of cardiology uh, almost 451 patients and 1000 odd patients in uh, jacc uh, projected as heart rate variability for risk assessment of myocardial ischemia in patients without known coronary artery disease the hrv detect study so the data that comes out of uh, 1000 odd patients in jack that the sensitivity of this test is 71% versus tmt or the exercise stress test in that study to 33% and a negative predictive value for the novel test to be around 97% and then the 451 subject patients the sensitivity was 77% for heart rates versus 27% for a routine exercise stress test and a negative predictive value of 98% early detection accuracy in 6 months follow up in both the studies 73% had angiographically detected coronary artery disease how do we conduct this test <clears throat> so download the app wear the heart rate monitor relax and sit transmit the data and get an instant result so while i am talking one of the doctors in this room is actually undergoing a test i have put that machine on him and we will see the result once my talk is over so if you have to compare it with a via tmt it's more accurate less cost no hassle no stress suitable for those who cannot perform a tmt especially handicapped patients elderly overweight no dobutamin to be given early indication of ischemia long before stress testing it's not just replacing a stress test the negative point is that it does not indicate ischemia location or percentage occlusion and it's not for those having established tmt mainly because these patients were out of the reams of the, both the studies so we cannot comment on this so tmt should ideally be used for sports athletes who must perform under real stress it can identify ischemia location with proper algorithms how there is always a fear and a hassle of taking a stress test less accurate requires physical presence of a physician to be around and incidence of sudden cardiac death do law is there on a treadmill so for this particular test the inclusion criteria is a healthy individual for screening low to intermediate populations without known cad exhibiting any one of the following risk factors diabetes smoking family history dyslipidemia men over 40 women over 50 other known cardiovascular risk factors so basically a routine stress test replaces this stress test exclusion criteria remain a cardiac pacemaker or arrhythmia established cad atrial flutter any diagnosis of a typical angina or a typical cardiomyopathy case previous bypass surgery done uh clinical depression patient on caffeine uh, ideally we must stop beta blockers for this test 24 hours before we order this test test so the test performs in terms of giving us a dy by dx indicator value it's not subjective like tmt can be subjective even in our own team somebody can report that as a negative and whereas it may actually be a positive test so this test actually gives a value uh the value is may be used as a prognostic score to supplement the diagnosis of cad and heart trends does not offer a diagnostic option to opinion to the patient so this is a typical report which is generated in this format 
and a value above 2.6 indicates a very low likelihood of presence of significant cardiac ischemia with a negative predictive value of 27%. And scores below 2 and as you go lower indicate an increased likelihood for presence of cardiac ischemia but be sure to rule out arrhythmias and other exclusionary conditions. So there is a grey zone between 2 to 2.6 where, where in as clinicians we must come in and order another test if required. So this is a typical test report of a patient, three patients are shown. The heart trends value of 3.69 is shown for the first patient 2.27 and 1.08. So anybody above 2.6 we are very sure that there is no ischemia. 2 to 2.6 also ischemia incidence is lesser but we need another test to prove it and less than 2 we are definitely sure that there is no significant. So the natural question comes that how does this device function? So heart trends device is based on a novel algorithm for analyzing heart rate variability which is constituted from the multipole method based on a physical mathematical description of complex time series. So basically they have used heart rate variability as a baseline predictor which used to predict sudden cardiac death. They have tweaked it with AI probably to de define or to predict coronary artery disease. So who is the ideal patient? Cardiac screening as reliable as an exercise stress test wear it for 20 minutes, no stressful maneuver, normal activity, clinically proven, the algorithm has CE and FDA approvals, ideal for healthy people with one or more risk factors who are unable to perform a treadmill test and the medical indications for screening at risk populations without known CRD, evidence based, peer reviewed, it is assessed with standard cardiac risk factors and exclusion criteria as we have already defined. They are also working on an algorithm to predict diabetes early using the same model. Uh, current research is going on in Denmark. In India, I think we will have to collaborate and do something. So using the data that we have seen, with the cardiac ischemia deaths in 2022 in India and putting the logistics, heart trends could save almost $300 million per year for our country. So to summarize, at a glance, it's a no stress stress test. It works on heart rate variability and it should replace a routine treadmill test. So this guy should have chosen heart trends. So can we have the gentleman uh, around whose uh, test is going on in the room? So your test is done. How did you feel doing the test? Thank you.